first alert weather day and Merry Christmas, Sean. Hey, finally, <laughs> no, Merry honestly, Christmas. You Stacey got it. And this is uh, the first time of the season, really, other than that little mm -hmm. bit of snow we had over Halloween. Yep. And, and that's really, that's it for now. And this really isn't even that big of a deal. It's right. basically a nuisance snowfall for the Mankato area, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. Given it's the first thing of the year, it's a first alert day, and especially <laughs> for those folks along and west of 71, where we have six yep. to 10 inches of snow yeah. coming down. The roads are starting to go downhill too, as we uh, check out the MnDOT <laughs> road condition map. You can see that there's a lot of green right now. Uh, 169 Mankato to St. Peter, looking a little slickery, and as we get in here a little bit, basically west of uh, Minnesota 15, St. James to Wyndham now, Redwood Falls area, we're starting to see more pink, and of course the pink completely covered roads and they are looking kind of ugly in a few spots. We do have uh, a lot of stuff on the roads in uh, spots further west and again, especially west of uh, US Highway 71. So that's where the heavy snow is and that's where we have the winter storm morning watches and advisories here that uh, winter storm morning is in effect through tonight into tomorrow for Redwood, Cottonwood, all the way down to Jackson, Nobles, Lyon, Murray County, and that's for the heavier snow. And once the snow ends and as we head into tomorrow, the wind is going to pick up. So that's going to become an issue too as well, especially tomorrow afternoon. The Buffalo Ridge area and especially right out there here, gusts up to 40 possible. In Mankato, we're talking maybe 30, possibly 35 gusts. So there could be a little bit of blowing snow as well. But this winter weather advisory for Mankato, North Mankato, Waseca remains in effect through midday tomorrow. And the snow continues to creep in from the south. Of course, this is a really big system. And the majority of the system is down around Kansas City, Des Moines, Quad Cities. Eventually, it'll get to Chicago, but we have the northern edge of this, and we're going to continue to see these snow showers drifting in from south to north. And um, Waseca area now, south of New Ulm, back to Wyndham, we have some light snow. You can see that there is a lot of snow down here, but what's happening is we have an easterly wind, and that's bringing in some drier air that takes away some of the moisture, but it's not going to take away all of it. We're going to have enough for about a couple of inches here in the Mankato, North Mankato area. Once you get a little further southwest, amounts could be slightly heavier, but look at the system as a whole. It is a, a doozy of a system. All of my South Dakota State Jackrabbits were down at the FCS Championship in uh, Dallas over the weekend, and they all are, they got stuck driving back up to uh, the Dakotas because of this big storm that basically goes from Kansas through Nebraska, Western Iowa to South Dakota. We are going to get this lobe here that works its way in and I kind of want to show you how this is going to roll through tonight and as we go hour by hour you can see the snow kind of working its way in here by about eight o'clock. We already have some light snow in St. James, Fairmont getting some snow. Snow will be light to moderate through the night. Here we are at midnight, 3 a.m. We're going to continue to see snow into tomorrow morning, especially down south of the Minnesota Iowa line. That's where the snow will be a bit heavier. Still some snow by mid morning tomorrow. After that, it's all going to get out of here with generally one to two to maybe three inches here in the Mankato area, slightly more to the southwest. And of course, down here uh, where the system's focused, they're going to get some heavy, heavy snow across eastern Iowa, western Illinois. Snow two to three tonight, heavier south and west, 25 the low, lingering snow tomorrow. But then the wind will kick in gusting to 30 in the afternoon, and that could create some blowing snow. And this is just the beginning. We actually have another system that's going to pop through Wednesday, Wednesday night that's going to bring another inch or two. Dry Thursday, another system very similar to the one that we're dealing with now could stay all the way south of us, but will probably give us at least an inch or two Friday into Saturday. And then after that, one degree for a high Sunday, 10 below Monday. It's going to get windy over the weekend, too. So we may be talking wind chill minus 30 Oof. or colder this weekend into next week. So, mm -hmm. yeah, get that warm winter coat and those uh, long undies out and ready to roll because... The cold is coming. Yeah, and that wind can be brutal with those temps. Very brutal. Thank you, Sean. We'll be right back with sports. This 10-day weather forecast is brought to you by Belter Window Siding and Roofing. B-O-E-L-T-E-R. Belter is better.